So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and welcome to a slightly different video than what I usually upload. No live gameplay today, this is going to be a tutorial video but hopefully one which will help a lot of you guys out on how to play custom zombie maps on PC. That's right, I'm going to be doing a tutorial where I'm going to go through everything you need as I'm sure a lot of you guys out there are having some trouble or don't know how to play custom zombies and also to talk you through the sort of PC that you'll need to run this and also I'm going to show you guys a great way to record your gameplays as well. It's nearing Christmas and I'm sure a lot of you guys want to be getting some awesome custom gaming PCs as well as picking up awesome games like Call of Duty World at War to play custom zombies so we're going to go through uh, to start off with what exactly you need in order to run World at War in order to get custom zombies running. So the game doesn't require a lot in terms of minimum requirements even at uh, good requirements you don't necessarily need a fantastic PC nowadays most PCs are generally up to scale with what you'd need to run World at War at a decent frame rate and decent graphics so if you're looking to get a budget PC then this will be absolutely perfect you'll be able to run games fine on that so the like re recommended requirements uh, for an AMD is you'd need a uh, dual core same with an Intel and uh, for a, a graphics card you don't necessarily need to get an amazing one if you get an amazing one you will get insane frames per second on this game like, I'm talking like between two 100 and 400 frames a second it will look really really great and you can whack that up to 1080p but if you're on a budget then you don't necessarily need to get a incredibly good GPU a decent GPU will handle World at War very very nicely and you do need two gigabytes of RAM uh, to run World at War well but that is literally all you need and of course an operating system Windows 7 Windows 8.1 that'll be absolutely fine now if you don't own World at War yet on PC then I highly recommend you to download something called Steam just Google Steam and download download the Steam client that they have and Steam's basically like a marketplace where you can buy PC games and you actually officially own the license so you've paid for those games and they're downloaded straight to your PC. Now I highly recommend you buy World at War off Steam because it's pretty cheap, it always is cheap, it's an old game but it also installs it with all the updates needed which you have to have installed in order to have custom zombies work and these updates include stuff like Verrucked, Shinonuma, uh, Darice, those updates and it just generally makes the game stay and it allows you to use custom zombie maps. So now you've got World at War installed or everything's good. You boot up the game and you'll notice a option on the menu called mods. Now when you open this it's going to be empty and you're probably going to go oh my god why is that empty? Well don't worry this is where the awesome part comes in and this is where you install the custom zombie map. So I'm going to leave links down below in the description to all the websites. I use the download maps. I use zombiemodding.com UGXmods.com and also Custom Cod. These are all websites which host uh, maps for you to download and it's so much easier than it ever was. Normally you download a map and it would be in a zip file and you'd have all these different files and you had to save it to a specific location on your computer but nowadays zombie maps that are created are packaged into an exe file. So literally all you have to do is download the map then click and run the exe and it will literally install the map for you in the correct location and it's literally that easy to install custom zombie maps. It's just like installing a program, it's literally you just click next, next, there'll be a loading bar and once that bar's done you've got the map installed and then once you run Call of Duty World at War you go to mods and you shall see that the map will now pop up and you click that and it will run. So normally when you run a mod, so let's say for instance we'll scroll down and we'll run Nazi Zombie Backlot. You click launch and what will happen is your game will reboot and what should happen is that your game will look fine and the main menu will have changed somewhat. So as we can see it says Backlot Solo or Backlot, backlot Cooperative. Now sometimes when you run a custom zombie map, the uh, map maker or the mod or whoever helped make the actual map, they may not have made something on the main menu where you can just instantly load it up. So like if you click backlot solo, as you can see it will load there. Most of the time uh, if you're playing on solo, there won't be an actual loading screen. So you'll just get this generic Activision um, loading screen and then eventually will load into the map. So in order to fix this, I'm going to cut to where I can show you a command which you type in and it will load up the map on solo for you. So as you can see here, I've loaded up a modded map, but you honestly wouldn't be able to tell, right? Because it looks exactly the same. So this one is Nazi Zombie Silo. So in order to get this to work, you need to go to Options, you need to go to Game Options, and then Enable Console Yes. Once you've done that, you'll be able to type in command. So above your tab key, 
next to the one key there'll be like a weird icon you just press that and it will open this now to load this up uh, and any other map in general you need to type dev map and then the name of the actual um, custom map that's named in the mod so this one's nazi underscore zombie underscore silo so we go nazi underscore zombie underscore silo press enter and boom the map loads up and that's how to do it if the map doesn't actually appear. So that's all and good for solo, but if you want to host and be able to play with your friends, then obviously there's a friends tab here. It's as simple as clicking in manage friends and then adding their name when you create an online profile. But if you want to play with your friends, all you have to do is if you're hosting the game, go to cooperative, host online, game setup, then click game mode and it will change to the modded map that you've loaded. Click OK and then invite your friends. Once they've joined, click Start Match. And it's as simple as that to play custom zombies with your friends. So now we've got installing custom zombie maps out of the way and getting World at War on your PC and having it run and all that good stuff. But you might want to record your sessions as well and put them up on YouTube. Now, weirdly, it sounds weird because a lot of people associate this capture card with consoles, but I use the Elgato HD60 to record my PC gameplays. Now, the Elgato records anything that has a HDMI input. So so literally anything that's HDMI this thing can do and this capture card is absolutely amazing for Xbox One's PlayStation 4's PC like I mentioned and what's particularly great about using this over um, software like Fraps or DxTory is that those use a lot of of your CPU and can have a pretty devastating effect on your FPS and your quality of, of your actual game itself on the PC. It will run a lot slower than it would if you weren't recording. What this will do is it literally is a HDMI pass through so it will pass the signal and then it will output it through USB so you can capture your PC and it will have no effect on the frame rate of your game whatsoever. So right here we have the Elgato software and this is actually my screen so I'm actually recording this bit with the Elgato software so as we can see here we have the Elgato HD 60 and this is currently recording 1080p at 60 frames a second now this video I haven't rendered it out in 60 frames but if you do record and render out in 60 the video will be 60 frames if you watch that on Google Chrome browsers which is insane so if you click here we have a, a bunch of different profiles we have the input device currently xbox one but normally you should switch that to pc but you've got literally every console that you can think of as an input device you have the input there you can change the hdmi color range and also the profile so if you want it to be uh 1080p or if you're having perhaps 1080p uh the input but you want it to be displayed or recorded in 720p for uh, any reason then you can change it there and this also changes the quality as well, so and how uh, like impressive the quality will be, but that will obviously make the, uh, the uh, size of the files a bit bigger. Now one of the main things that are absolutely crucial to making this software amazing is the preferences here. And uh, there's a thing here called enable flashback recording, and that's something that I don't have on at the moment. But when you have flashback recording on, you could be literally you could leave your Xbox on or your PC, you could be gaming away, and there might be a moment which you didn't press record on. What you can do is with this, you can't do it at the moment because I haven't got it on, but this will let you drag back in time to uh, however long you've had the software open for. So say if two hours ago I was playing custom zombies and I, I forgot to record. I can go back in time to two and a half hours ago. As soon as I see where my game started, I can click capture and it will capture everything from that point onwards to where it is now, which is pretty insane, right? So that is going to save you a lot of time and trouble, especially for playing on Xbox or PlayStation as well. And you're like playing multiplayer on Call of Duty and you miss uh, a really good game and just go back and record it. And it's honestly the biggest lifesaver ever. And it, that's the feature that stands out for me that makes this card so good. So here we can change the game audio and um, also we have live commentary here as well. So you can do live commentary while recording, which is amazing. You can also live stream as well right from the software, which is amazing. You can stream to YouTube, you can stream to Twitch and a bunch of other websites, which is absolutely insane. It's quite useful uh, rather than messing about with a, uh, like a piece of software like XSplit or OBS. You can just straight dive in and stream straight away from this and you can get crisp 1080p streams which is absolutely awesome and you can just title your stream on twitch there uh, and it's, it's, it's as simple as that and then here you can 
title the video of course this is when I was recording some murder mysteries for GTA 5 for a video ages ago but there we have it the Elgato HD60 I've got a link in the description of this video if you're interested in getting one of these because it will honestly save you so much time and effort and it is a really robust and awesome capture card and I wouldn't recommend something that I didn't personally enjoy using myself I've used an Elgato for about two years now and I wouldn't recommend any other capture card this one is absolutely awesome the only downside is you need four gigs of RAM to run this thing so you need a pretty decent PC but if you've got one decent enough to run World at War you shouldn't have any problems running the Elgato software as well and if you don't then just get some more RAM just install that into your computer and you'll be good to go and that pretty much wraps up my video on how to install custom zombies and how to record I really hope you guys found this useful as I did get a bunch of requests and I actually asked you guys in my uh, past few videos if you guys wanted to see a tutorial like this a lot of you did want to see it so I thought hey I'll bring this to you and hopefully it's brought you a little bit of insight into how to play custom zombies and if this has changed your mind on getting a awesome PC to play this awesome custom zombie maps but if you enjoyed it smash the like button on this video it took a long time to make and I really hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed it and it was informative and make sure to subscribe as I'll be bringing you guys a lot more custom zombie content of course as well as Call of Duty stuff in general and anything else that tickles my fancy so thank you for watching and I'll catch you for another one next time.